So last time we spoke, Builder was actually going through the house. That was the day that we did the inspection of the home. And so he's since been through and we've had a conversation about the support for the roof where we're removing walls. And so I've given him the okay to engage a, an engineer. I've got a quote from the engineer and that was very reasonable. And so they have been through today and checked that out. And so now the engineer will go to work and design the support. And so I want to introduce you to Kerry now. Kerry is my mentee student who is going to be working with me on the project. And so we're meeting really for me to update Kerry on where the project is and basically for us to strategize a plan for moving forward. So welcome, Kerry. Thank you. So just before you, we get, I know you've got a few questions, but before we get into the questions, how do you feel about this project and working on the project? Um, really excited <laughs> to start with. Excited about things that I can learn because I have done my own house renovations before, but there's lots of things that the more the renovating for profit side of things and probably how to do things properly because we had a scoping session before which was a great learning curve for me i'm doing my own renovations here and i just had three people come around and i talked to them about what i wanted and then i got three quotes back for different things so it was very yeah. hard to compare that you get you got to see the value of it yeah, yeah, I did. It was a two hour updating a spreadsheet session, but it was, it did show me the value of it. So other things that I'm hoping to learn, and I think you might be giving us an update about it is finding trades, especially in this day and age. And yeah, the quoting process, choosing the right builder and yeah, do you use their trades? You're getting your own trades. The other thing is with this house, you can see potential in it, but I can also see there's a lot of issues to be resolved about getting it to a point where it will make the profit that we're hoping to make. So I'm really interested to see what you do with that as well. Right. Let's address the trade situation now yeah. because that's really the next thing on my agenda. Mm -hmm. So the way I'm looking at this, because it's from my point of view, it's remote. What I've said to the builder is if his pricing works in our budget, I would be really happy for him to do the whole job. Mm -hmm. However, we have to always hedge our bets because mm -hmm. we can't, I can't rely on it being right and then find that it's just not going to work financially. And so now that we have access, it's been a bit challenging up until now. And now that we'll have access as of tomorrow, we need to get our own quotes on the base trades like electrical, plumbing, demolition will need anyhow. So he's not, he doesn't do demolition, tiling, waterproofing. So I contacts for all those trades. And I really think it is with those people, it's just a matter of getting into their schedule. And so what we need you and I need to do next week is make a list of people that we want to quote mm -hmm. and then get them to come to site and get going on that while Luke is finalizing his price. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is so finishing off a few of the details around yeah. the plan. And one of the, uh, the other thing is that one of the big things is the kitchen. So mm -hmm. figuring out what we're going to do with that. Are we going to get it custom made? Are we going to do flat pack? Personally, I'm quite interested in maybe giving Caboodle a go because it's a straight kitchen. So I definitely want to price it with Caboodle and just see how it comes out. Mm -hmm. So they're our jobs for the next couple of weeks. So the other thing is around COVID. So Judith has just told me that she's found that if we test, we can follow the trades protocol around COVID and have testing done every three days so that we can actually go to site. So I'm going oh, to explore yeah. that a bit more. It means that I have to go there, come back, no, nothing in between, but that might help to actually at least meet trades. And so we'll, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. I had yeah. to get the money transferred into PEXA for the settlement. Yeah. And I went over to the bank today. I couldn't do it um, online. I had to go over to the bank oh. because they had, for a large sum of money, they have quite a rigorous 
scamming prevention process. That's all set up. And the other thing I did was set up the insurance with him. With insurance, it's a bit challenging at the moment because they're saying that you can't have it unoccupied for more than 120 days. Oh. So once I've got the documents, I will have a look at it and then I'll ring the insurance company. And so we're, we're fine for the next four months, but I just need to manage that and figure out what we're going to do once that time comes up. So uh, is our time frame more than four months? It will be, I think. Uh, by the time we, it's a six week sales campaign and in the past when I've had this problem, we've actually gone and stayed a night here and there. Oh, it's just, and do I have to go and Graham and I have to go over there for a night? I may well stay there. If we can get it so it's presentable, I may stay there, take my sleeping yeah. bag and we can have a pyjama party. You know what? I don't have pyjamas, but I'll, I'm sure I can buy them for the occasion. Yes. And there's um, actually a good pub up around the corner from there, like walking distance. So I was just going to say, if someone has to stay, Graham and I can always go over for a Friday night <laughs> and go out for dinner or awesome. somewhere different yeah. yeah and I think it's probably as soon as it gets respectable enough to get a bed in there anyhow because we're going to we're going to be styling it anyhow not that I really want to do the styling myself but it won't hurt it wouldn't hurt to have a bed there anyhow that's that thing okay um next so, thing is sorry, can I just start because no. I'd never heard about insurance for doing renovations until I saw something on one of the Facebook pages. Yeah. So do you go to a different insurance company than what you would normally insure your house with or? I, no, I don't. And I've, I've, I don't, I usually, if it's a project, I usually insure it through the bank because it's just way easier. I can set it up. The payments come out of the account oh, and okay. yep. easier. it's just that, and I got in touch cause I was interested in what Ali said about our broker. And I got the same answer from them. And then I went back and said, so what are we supposed to do? And she said, oh, actually, I'm going to start looking into it now. So with Ali, she just gave her the flick and didn't even try. And, which sort of, was that the, the unit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And, um, and so Ali doesn't need building insurance because that's a strata, mm. but we do because it's a house so they're investigating that and i'll find out what happens with that but in the meantime i we need insurance now that's set up mm -hmm. and the other thing is not just the building insurance it's the public liability because oh, that's yeah. attached to the insurance one of the things with the insurance is that for the first 48 hours they don't cover you for bushfire and flood i think and yeah. so i've started it today so it'll really only be 24 hours and then we'll be covered so tomorrow is settlement day and so that's when the rubber hits the road so Kerry you and I are going to be busy little bees mm -hmm. so Judith our buyer's agent has already done the pre-settlement inspection and what I've told asked of her is if she would pick up the key and then you can get it from her I just thought it might be easier mm -hmm. once we've got the keys we're in a position that we can start doing some stuff and the first thing that I would like to ask you to do is to buy a key safe and get something set up there so that if we have a trade come and need to get in when nobody can let them in then we can just direct them to the key safe. I think the thing that I want you to get out of this next few months is to see how you can do this for yourself mm -hmm. because it's in your area um, we've got an amazing buyer's agent so it's easy for you to find projects and so if you can just get the process down pat then you've got your recipe for success. Yes. And I think that would give me the confidence because I've been trying to do this for quite a while. So I think that will give me the confidence to um, yeah. go ahead with it. Yeah. yeah.